All right, so in this problem, I have 1 over m is equal to 27 to the power of m. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the power of 1 over m on both sides. So now I have 1 over m to the power of 1 over m is equal to 27 to the power of m over, to the power of 1 over m. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 27 to the power of m to the power of 1 over m, that's the same thing as 27 to the power of m times 1 over m. And m times 1 over m, that's these two cancel out, so that's just going to be left with 27. So now I have 1 over m to the power of 1 over m is equal to 27. Now 27, this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3. So now I have 1 over m to the power of 1 over m is equal to 3 to the power of 3. And if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, 1 over m that's equal to 3. So now to solve this, I'm simply going to multiply both sides by m. These two cancel out, and I'm left with 1 is equal to 3m. Now I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 3. So then these two cancel out, and I have 1 over 3 is equal to m. Now, to check, first start with 1 over m is equal to 27 to the power of m. And we know that m is 1 over 3. So now I have 1 over, 1 over 3 is equal to 27 to the power of 1 over 3. Now, 1 divided by 1 over 3, that's the same thing as 1 over 1 divided by 1 over 3, which is the same thing as 1 over 1 times 3 over 1, which is equal to 3. So now I have 3 is equal to 27 to the power of 1 third. Well, 27 to the power of 1 third, that's the same thing as the cube root of 27, and the cube root of 27 is 3. So I have 3 is equal to 3, and this is right, so my solution is right. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is I am going to take the natural log on both sides. Or sorry, actually before that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by x to the power of 2. So x to the power of 2 divided by x to the power of 2, and that's 1. So now I have x to the power of x over x to the power of 2 is equal to 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So x to the power of x over x to the power of 2, that's equal to x to the power of x minus 2 which is equal to 1. Now, if I take the natural log or ln on both sides, I get ln x to the power of x minus 2 is equal to ln 1. And if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times ln a. In this case, ln x to the power of x minus 2, I can move x minus 2 to the front. So this can equal x minus 2 times ln x, which is equal to ln 1, which, if you guys already didn't know, is 0. Now, if I distribute the ln x, well, x times ln x, that's x times ln x, minus, or sorry, negative 2 times ln x is negative 2 ln x. Now, this is equal to 0.
Now from here, if I factor out ln x, or sorry, actually there is no need to factor out, um, there is no need to distribute ln x out, that was my bad. I actually instead, I'm gonna make this into two equations. I have x minus two is equal to zero, and I have ln x is equal to zero. So x minus two equals zero, this is pretty simple. All I have to do is add two on both sides, and I get x is equal to two. So this is already one solution of x. Now for ln x equals zero, I'm gonna take e to the power of both ln on both sides, or sorry, e to the power of both sides. And e to the power of zero, that's one. e to the power of ln x, e and ln x cancel out, or sorry, e and ln cancel out. So I'm left with x, so I get x is equal to one. So my two solutions are x is equal to two and x is equal to one. All right, so in this problem, I have a to the power of nine plus a to the power of nine plus a to the power of nine plus a to the power of nine. So for my solution, I'm gonna first start by factoring our a to the power of nine. So now I have a to the power of nine times one plus one plus one plus one. Now one plus one plus one plus one, that's equal to four. So this is equal to a to the power of nine times four. And if you guys already didn't know, eight, this is the same thing as two to the power of three. And four, this is half of eight, so this is gonna be two to the power of two. So if I replace these values with four and eight, I get two to the power of three to the power of nine times two to the power of two. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So two to the power of three to the power of nine, that's gonna equal two to the power of three times nine, and three times nine is 27. So now I have two to the power of 27 times two to the power of two. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So two to the power of 27 times two to the power of two, this is equal to two to the power of 27 plus two, which is equal to two to the power of 29. So this is my answer.